Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brackett. I am recording a, another video to assist people in their transition from our old campus email system to the new Google Mail system that is part of Google Apps for Education. Uh, this video may be, if I don't screw it up, may be my shortest video ever. Uh, this video intends to show users how to create folders in either OWA, which is mail.oclairps.com, or in the Outlook program itself. How do you create folders for organizing your emails? Uh, could be that you don't get a lot of emails, so organizing isn't a problem. Could be that you get hundreds of emails uh, and organizing is a really big issue, but you haven't been able to tackle it before. So I'm going to show you how to create folders first in OWA and then also in Outlook so that you can organize those emails into those folders. So let's start with OWA. Now you see here I have mail.oclairps.com. I've already logged in. This is the standard OWA. Um, you'll see, um, well, shoot, yeah, this is what you'll see when you log in. Username, password, and then you're in. You can see here uh, on the left-hand side my folders. I have a Google Apps folder. I have a school tech folder. I have a teaching stuff folder. I have a to transfer folder. Um, how did I get all those folders? Well, what I did was uh, I right-clicked on my name. You'll see your name. You won't see mine, obviously. But right-click on that, and you'll get a menu that gives you the option to create a new folder. And you see down here, a new folder icon has shown up. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, I called it miscellaneous. And now I have a miscellaneous folder. I can take things from my email inbox. You see I'm in my inbox. Here I can just drag those into folders. And now that email is gone from my inbox, but it's present in my specific folder. So I move that back because I didn't actually want to move that. But that miscellaneous folder now shows up in the list of folders. You can use that approach to create multiple folders and then use one of my other YouTube videos to move those folders from Outlook to the new Google Mail system uh, that we're all moving to. So um, that's OWA, pretty simple. It's a very similar approach in Outlook. Here I am, I've launched Outlook. If you don't know how to launch Outlook, go to your start screen type Outlook and the shortcut for Outlook 2013 will appear you click it and Outlook launches and here we are I am in my Outlook program similar look um, in many respects to the OWA um, here on the left you see uh, folders and my account information here um, I'm going to write click on inbox and create a new folder. Let's say I'm going to call that miscellaneous. Now this folder is actually a subfolder of the inbox. Um, I don't know why it matters or not. None of my other folders are subfolders of the inbox. Uh, does it matter? I don't know. I doubt it. Um, so what you do after you've created a new folder that's a subfolder of your inbox, you can just click on it and hold and then drag it to a new location. Uh, and then it shows up as a new folder that is not a subfolder of your inbox. Um, I didn't actually want that folder because I already have a miscellaneous, uh, but you get the idea. If I right click on the inbox and click new folder, and type the name of the folder and then drag it to be uh, something other than a subfolder of the inbox. Then I can take things that are in my inbox and drag them and drop them in that folder and they show up there. Um, 
very similar approach to the way that we organize in OWA. Okay, so whether you're using OWA faithfully, which is mail.outclareps.com, or you're using the Outlook program, uh, you should be using folders for organizing your emails. The reason for doing that is when it comes time to transfer those emails to the new system, you can use the YouTube video that I emailed out to everybody um, that shows how to do that um, by taking folders that you've created in Outlook and transferring them over to the new Google system. Um, so for everybody who's unaware, this is my third video, um, folders in Outlook and OWA. In order for this to be a, a f in order for this video to make the most amount of sense, you need to check out the other videos. Um, the first one is configuring Outlook for IMAP access to Google Mail. And then the second one was synchronizing Outlook Mail folders to Google Mail. So if you've seen all three of these videos um, that I've made in the last 24 hours, then you should be able to take email folders that you have that you don't want to lose and transfer them over to the new Google Mail system. And then that way nobody loses any of those valuable emails when it comes time for the switch to happen. And so that's it. If you have any questions, you can always just let me know. Thanks a lot.